I think a lot of times people see that I'm black and they expect me to be a troublemaker. That actually Vancouver was the first place that I was racially profiled. I'm a soccer player, so like every time I'm on the field, everybody's always like, oh, that black guy, like he's 100% fast. When you're out in West, you're always, you're always uh, alone, for mostly, and you become sort of the token, that's the black, that is the black guy in a school. Well, the easiest answer for me to say is that I'm black, but I followed that up by saying that my parents are from Zimbabwe and they immigrated to the United States, so I was born in the U.S., so, but mostly I say I'm African, I'm Zimbabwean. I definitely identify with a culture. I identify with a black cultural context that I come from. It's like Detroit, it's my grandmother's food, it's my neighbors, you know, it's, it's um, it's, there's a very particular thing that I'm associating with when I say um, that I'm black. Um, it's a way of talking, it's a way of dancing. Somebody asked me the other day, and they say, well, you're half, you know, half your genes are from a white lady, so why don't you just identify as, uh, as white? It, I can't, you can't. You, I cannot walk into a room and say, um, you know, uh, I'm white, Cause, because people won't accept that. One day during recess, there was a girl who came up to me and I thought we were friends for a while there and she asked me, did you roll in the mud and forget to take a shower? I was just walking on the street minding my own business and like, as like a lady's approaching me, she just goes across the street and then like, I can tell like she's looking at me like she's scared even though I'm just minding my own business. Like you're 12, 13 and you're starting to date girls and you'd go over to somebody's house and the girl would meet me outside. And so I'm like, why, why aren't, maybe I should go in and meet your parents. And she, no in certain terms, said, well, that's not, that's not gonna happen. They don't even know, they don't even know you're black. I've heard from several of my friends saying, oh, my parents didn't really like black people, but then they met you and they saw, oh, she was raised right, so she's okay. And then it's like a backhanded compliment, but I don't even know if you can call it a compliment. We are creative, we're innovative, we're improvisers, we're incredibly resilient. Our power and our capacity is undeniable. But I like to be different and stand out, I guess. And also like being black, there's just so much history to it too. But I will say one thing for sure that's probably my favorite is the dancing and the food, for sure. I like that. There's so many people on this planet, so for, to let the one negative and like narrow-minded thought of one individual ruin your whole day and kind of set the tone for how you want to live is not the right way to go. So you need to persevere through that. You need to tell yourself that what they say does not matter. Those people, history is going to be very unkind to, because I think, I honestly believe, I think we have more allies than we do enemies, quite frankly. To quote Michelle Obama, you have to remember that when they go live, when they go low, we have to go high. <laughs>